No. Hi, chat. Hi, Stan. Congrats on being first. Return of the king. That's me, King Moo Moo, king of the moos. Hey, Tark. How's it going? Hey, Red Dragon. Hey, Cryo. Hey, Neat Worker. How are you guys? And Cryo, that Apex got you angry. <laughs> Is that what you were streaming today, Cryo? Chat, um... Hi. <laughs> uh, quick question. How laggy is stream? Is it bad? I didn't change any of my settings from before. So, uh, I probably, uh... I probably need to do that. Oh, really? Not at all? That is a su fucking surprise. Huh. Maybe because no one's home. Fuck you. Net and red collapse? Oh shit, really? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Get any dubs? Get any dubs? You're the king of first. Yeah, Stan, you're really good at that. I'm sure Lucy's jealous. Apex disgust. Cringe. I know, right? Only two. Not bad. Not bad at all. How you guys been, chat? It's been, um... It's been a while. Excluding the, uh... That random stream I did uh, a couple of weeks ago, or was it last week? Oh my god, I'm losing track of time, chat. Was it two weeks ago? Yeah, it was two weeks ago. Yeah, I had a stream two weeks ago where I did the Nintendo Direct uh, uh, react, and then since then, it's been a month, chat. It's been a whole month. How you been? So, still thank you for the 23 months. I'm sure I have a lot of those very delayed. <laughs> uh, subs thank you guys thank you tark thank you for all the support thank you for the six months congrats on that silver cow hell yeah oh my god my computer please there we go cryo thank you for the 17 months hell yeah rocking that diamond cow no oh, wait that's platinum diamonds next month we got diamond next month Hey, now how's it going? He's not dead. I live! I live. It's been so, so long, chat. Vinyl, thank you for the two years! Let's fucking go. We are so back. Hell yeah. I need to make, um... I need to make uh, a 24 uh, badge. A two-year badge. So... Sorry, you don't have one yet. I have... I already know what I'm going to do. I actually have it laid out, but I haven't done it. <laughs> Stan, thank you for the two years as well. Hell yeah. Pretty wild. I, uh, my my two-year affiliate anniversary is next month. So just a few weeks away. Come back and eat Gustavos with me. <laughs> it's funny. I have... Uh, I have actually an album of all the pictures we took of my road trip, which I want to go over with chat. Holy fuck, is that vinyl? <laughs> He's so hot. Gay. Show us. I will, I will, I will. But how you guys have been, chat? Like I said, it's been, um... Getting a whole month. It's been, it's been... It's been a time and a half. I've been very busy. I've been dealing with so much shit. Uh... I moved across country and... Whatever could go wrong, did go wrong. So that was... That was, that was fun. That was fun, chat. Um, I have an album of things, of pictures we took. I kind of wish I had some more pictures, but I kind of forgot. Goy, thank you for the head pats. How you going? How you doing? How's it going? How you going? Hope you guys been good. When you get into the car crash and die, so did it really go 100% wrong? Uh, true. No car accidents, thankfully. No car problems, which is what I was most worried about. But there was uh, plenty of other problems, chat. Plenty of other problems. Doing well? Hell yeah. I'm so sad. Because it's been so long, I haven't been able to watch, like, anyone's streams, really. Um, because my computer's been broken. Um, so yeah. Let's, let's go over here on this screen. Um, 
Let's go through some pictures. And I'll explain my journey and what it's, what's been going on with me for the past month. Um, so, what time? What, what day is it? So, last month on uh, August, not October, on August 28th, um, almost one month exactly, we went on our road trip. I moved all the way from Florida to an undisclosed location slash state, although I think Lucy has already doxed me on what state I live in, or Bree. Probably both. Um... Ow! That's rude. About to say she does it all the time? Oh, she, does he? Did she? Okay, well, uh, we went all the way from Florida to the far off north state of Iowa. Um, fucking who lives in Iowa? Lucy! That's why I'm here. I got that a lot. I would tell my friends or my family, like, hey, I'm moving to Iowa. And they're like, what the fuck is in Iowa? And I'm like, oh, well, L Lucy, that's, that, that's about it. <laughs> um, so one month ago we went, we did a road trip across state lines um, with the help of Zeke. Um, Zeke did probably like 60, 75% of the driving, probably 75% of the driving. Um, and along the way, there were some shenanigans. We met up some with some peoples. It was a ton of fun. All right, I have pictures. Hopefully nothing in here uh, is too doxing. Mm, there it is. Oh yeah, hi, Loris. How's it going? How you been? How you doing? It's been so long. Is this in the Midwest area? If so, watch out for the cows out there. Oh yeah, there was cows. You've got pictures of cows, chat. There was better watch out for the king cow in town. Yeah. I've returned to herd all the cows together. Probably I owe like 30 people in a bag of potatoes. Yeah. You know, one thing I don't miss about Florida is the traffic. But yeah. Chat, thank you so much for the hype train. Most of those were, were uh, resubs. <laughs> from probably the past month all gathered together. But I really, really appreciate chat. I appreciate you guys um, still staying sub to me, even though why I wasn't streaming. I really, really appreciate it. Um, now, what are you talking about? What do you mean what I'm talking about? What I'm talking about? Uh, this device. There we go. All right, chat. So. We, we went across the country and we used the power of you boxes to haul all of my shit. Chat, I will never tell anyone, even my worst enemy, to use these fucking things because it was a goddamn nightmare. Um, in there, I put all of my shit. I put my living room stuff, my bedroom stuff, shoved it all in there nice and easy and took it with me. And boy, hey, I, the reason I took this picture is because... Um, um, you see here where the door uh, hits hits the garage? Yeah. Yeah. They put the view boxes too close to the house. And I couldn't direct them or help them because they they said they were going to be at my house between 1 and 5 p.m. And they were there not at 1 or 5 p.m. They were there half hour early. Um... So, yeah, that was annoying. Try calling them like a thousand times. They transferred me to like five different places because no one could help me. Um, and they basically said, fuck you. Uh, they couldn't move it. No. So, yeah, you boxes suck. That was one of many problems with you box. Um, for example, uh, they were supposed to pick it up that Monday, the same day we left Florida, but they, they didn't. They... They just did it. So I had to call them because of that. That delayed my my U box arrival by a week. So that was that was fucking fun. Um, yeah, don't get U boxes ever. Maybe get pods. 
I was gonna get pods, but they were like a thousand more dollars. But fuck it, if a thousand more dollars means it works better, I'm gonna do that next time. What delayed it? They just didn't pick it up. I called them like like my mom was like, hey, your boxes are still here. Uh, so then I called them the next day and I was like, hey, why did you not pick them up? And they're like, yeah, uh, we called you, but you didn't pick up, so we didn't pick it up. And I'm like, why though? I have it scheduled for that time for specific reasons. But they just didn't pick it up. Hey, the reason why, chat, I didn't pick up the phone. Um, I was on, like, you know, in the middle of fucking Alabama where there's no signal. So, yeah, of course I didn't get any phone calls. So, yeah. Um, yeah, fuck you, Bucks. Uh, also, I, I actually posted some pictures on my Discord. I didn't bother putting it in here. Um, but apparently there was uh, a leak in there or something, so a lot of my furniture got water damage. Um, I had to throw out some bookshelves, which I wasn't too broken up about because they were like $20, but still, uh, my rug got damaged, um, my entertainment center got damaged. Yeah, uh, I took pictures of that, I posted them in my Discord. Um, thankfully the entertainment center center damage was light, but it's still like you can see like the water damage. Um, some of my boxes got wet, but thankfully nothing inside got damaged. Thank Christ. Um, so I took, I, I did an insurance claim because obviously I paid for insurance, um, but they never got back to me. So yeah, fuck you haul. Never again. Never again. I'll go with Penske next time. Yeah. Moving is a pain, it is. Uh, shit, that's terrible. Yeah. But those were the legacy shelves. I know, right? That Those shelves lasted, uh, I wanted to get them, like, what, 2015? So, six, seven years? Seven years? Um, uh, but they were Walmart shelves. I've had to buy new bookshelves, but I upgraded from Walmart to Target. That was that was that was a worthy upgrade. They're definitely in like way sturdier, and it costs like a whole another fifteen dollars more. Hey, Dark, how's it going? I got damaged too. Yeah, I know, buddy. I know. <laughs> Dark got emotional damage. <laughs> Getting if your electronics took water damage. Yeah. Thankfully, um. Like what was in, like none of my figures got damaged. Um, I didn't. I didn't carry any vital electronics in the boxes with me. I didn't. I took pictures, but I didn't put it in the album. Um, uh, in my car, since we drove across, I wanted to take my lovely, lovely Prius with me because I love my car. Um, I took my car across country or state lines. Across the country, state lines. And I had brought my PC in there with some monitors, um, my PS5, my Switch, you know, clothes. Um, so, like, I put the important shit in my car. So, that didn't get water damage, but boy, was that a hassle in of itself. El Pozo. That part's good to hear. I remember you were worried about the figures. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know exactly where the water leak was. Um, I didn't really find out until, you know, after I opened up and the movers helped uh, put everything inside and they noticed a water leak. But I think it was mostly items close to the front door. Um, so like most of my boxes were fine. I had one box that had really bad water damage, but it was like a basically useless box that didn't really have anything important in it. So all my figures were safe for the most part. Um, I think something happened on one of them. I don't remember. Oh yeah, my velvet figure from Dems Fighting Herds. Uh, that one like got really tilted for some reason and it broke off the base. But that wasn't too big of a deal because we super booted back on. Uh, but for the most part, the figures were fine, and my plushies were mostly fine. Um, I th the water damage unfortunately got to my Coco Pomel plush, which I love. So we actually had to wash it yesterday. 
Uh, very, very sad about that one because that's one of my favorite plushies. Can I get water damage too? Dark, I don't think you want water damage. Trust me. You don't want it. It's a hassle. Uh, the worst part is the, is my rug being this damaged as it is because I can't really... I have to like clean it with like professional equipment because uh, it stinks and it's like the only way to fix it. Um, so yeah, I filed an insurance claim and never got back to me. Maybe I should probably follow up on that, I guess. Um, but fuck you, Hall. Never use them. Uh, ever. Moral of the story. Uh, here's a picture of my room. Uh, when I left it. Um, it's pretty crazy how empty it is. Uh, I don't have pictures on me. Hold on. I could probably do this really fast. Of what my room used to look like. More or less. Uh, give me like 30 seconds chat. Probably not even. I will eventually post pictures of my new room. Once that's finished setting up, I finished unpacking yesterday. Um, you may say, wow, why did it take you so long? You moved a month ago, confident cow. Why did it take you so long to unpack? Well, you see, the thing is, um, it took two fucking weeks for the U-Box to get to my house. Um, so yeah, that's, that's why. Oh, uh, one week longer than it said it would. Um, and then I had to hire movers, which they couldn't get to it right away. Um, but fuck moving furniture upstairs. I was upset I had to move furniture just from my room to, like, the first floor into the garage. Dark would like me to kiss the mic and went for him today. Did you? Did you? If you did, uh, I hope it got clipped. Um, I did. <laughs> Yo, please tell me there's a clip of that. Hey, look, here's my room chat. Uh, before I moved out, this is dark mode. Um, where's the picture with lights? Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, so here, here's my room. Um, before. This is an old picture, because I, I got way more plushies after this. And then, um, this is my room now. Empty. Uh, thank- a big- a big shout out for my friends. I really, really appreciate them helping me, uh, move all the shit into the truck. And they even helped me pack a little bit. I was gonna finish packing later, but they actually helped me, so... That was nice of them. Rambuba, go back. Fine. Okay, here's all my figures. Um, the setup is different. See how the plushies are overflowing? I have even more plushies like on my bed. Um, and I had to buy two bookshelves and that's still not enough for all of my shit. <laughs> I have two big bookshelves and then one smaller one. In my current room, there's a Rambuba. Uh, Lucy is a bad influence by the way. Um, we went to, uh, a couple of weeks ago, there was a con near where we live, and we went there, and Lucy was like, ooh, you should buy this, you should buy this. So my rim collection went from three figures to five figures, um, even though I only actually have bought, before that, only this rim one over here on the left. Uh, the booba rim, the bikini rim, and the one that's on the shelf, um... Those were gifts. Uh, but, to be fair, those red figures were like... $20 each. So that was kind of was kind of worth it, if you ask me. He didn't clip it?! Fucking useless. Um, I have a lot less wall space in my office now, so I'm gonna have to figure out what posters are gonna go where. Um... That's the future. That's the future, Coco. No, that's my old room. That's my old room. I was just showing um, what it looked like before and what it currently looks like. Okay.
Uh, and then here's my living room. I don't have pictures on me right away, but I had a really nice setup, trust me. So, I <laughs> know my family has like no living room. Well, my house has two living rooms, so there was one living room with stuff. Um, but my current living room is now completely empty. <laughs> Hey Never, how's it going? How you been, buddy? I missed you. Why do you want to hear me whimper? Because I think it'd be fucking funny. <laughs> you doing alright? Nice, nice. Alright, we went to Sweet Home Alabama. Uh -huh. Chat, there were so many fucking trees. I have never seen more trees in my life. You know, people say, like, Deforestation is like a problem that we have. Um, my road trip, like I refuse to believe it after my road trip. I don't think it's actually a problem. I think it's propaganda to make us plant more trees set up by the man. I think we have plenty of fucking trees. The song gets played so much, does it? I don't listen to the radio, I don't know. Trees aren't real. Freaking Stan, if you if you saw the amount of trees I did, you you know you're wrong. The government drones? You an idiot? Trees aren't government drones. What the fuck are you on about? It's birds. Birds are the real drones. Uh, we went to Bucky's in Alabama. It's the first time I ever went to Bucky's. Chat, do you know what a Bucky's is? Um, I wish I took better pictures. Um, but like it's basically a really really big ass gas station with like 50 pumps um and it's got like a little a little like um whatchamacallit uh it's got like a little store inside a little restaurant it's 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 huge you hate bucky's have you been there sophistos i know there's one uh, near uh kind of close where we live um i had never been to one until this road trip over bussies? No, not bussies. Buckies. Buckies. It's not pronounced bussies. <laughs> you have and you hate it? Why do you hate it? What's wrong with Buckies? Are you Satan? You just don't drive anywhere? Well, that's not true anymore. I drive all the fucking time. Um, You've never heard of this place. Well... They, there, there's not too many. I don't know where all the locations are. Someone with more experience or even vinyl can tell you more about where they are and how many there are. But because it's such a huge place, they kind of it's kind of hard to get multiple buckies around. But yeah, it's a big ass gas station, and I took a picture of it because we went inside and we had some food. Um, we had chips, fresh chips, very fucking good. They're mainly in Texas. Um, I guess maybe they're mainly in the south. I hate that either. It's way too crowded. The fans remind me of Disney adults. <laughs> There's fans of Bucky's. That's kind of weird. Um, the mascot's kind of goofy looking. Thankfully, it wasn't too busy when we went there. It was kind of busy, but not like it wasn't like bad. It was not as bad as me going to Walmart in the afternoon. It was not as bad as that, so. Um, we had fudge. I took some pictures of the fudge later. The fudge was good. The chips were good. We had this brisket sandwich chat. It's fucking delicious. Uh, some of the best brisket I've ever had. And trust me, I'm very picky when it comes to brisket, but this was like very juicy. It was it's good. It's good shit chat. Um, lots of uh oil shit in alabama that's probably like the only interesting thing there that's schlem's favorite yeah that brisket sandwich is really fucking good uh we went to a barbecue place around here called jethro's um in in iowa and it fucking sucks disconnected reconnecting Um, I 
Okay, we back? We back? Uh, for some reason, OBS disconnected. Are we good now? We're good? Okay, good. Also, thank you, Koi, for the 14 months! Hell yeah. We good? We Gucci? Awesome. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember. When I went there, there was like 500 people in the store. Holy shit. Yeah, it wasn't that bad of where we went. I can, I can see that being annoying. Okay. Um, welcome to Mississippi. It was empty as fuck in here. Here's the fudge I mentioned earlier. Excuse the blurry ass picture. It's good shit. Got the cookies of cream one. That one's my favorite. Because cookies of cream is fucking based. I don't care what Lucy says. Uh, the cookies there were really good. Well, sorry, my voice cracked like I'm a fucking 13 year old child. Um, the cookies were really good. They were like cheap too. They're like $4 for like six cookies or something like that. It's good shit. Um, we had breakfast over at Mississippi. Um, this is around the time we picked up my boy Vinyl. Um, we, uh, we picked him up. He joined us for the road trip. Uh, this breakfast list is pretty fucking good. I like their, uh, their pancake syrup. It was really, really good. I forget what was in it that made it good. If Vinyl was around, maybe he'll tell you. That was really fucking good. I still have Carolina Reaper hot sauce from Bucky's. How is the how's hot sauce? Is it good? Lucy got shit taste. Yeah. Oh, thank God. It's not just me who knows that. Thank you. you. Chat. We. Lucy and I went to Culver's once, and we're like, yeah, we'll share we'll share concrete uh, and ice cream there. Um, and it was so hard for us to agree on just flavors of ice cream to get. <laughs> Uh, cooking and buying food is kind of a pain between the, the three of us with me, Lucy, and Brie. Because we all have different tastes. So, yeah. She's dating you having shit tastes again. Fuck you, Stan. Anyways, cow, moo. Oh, uh, chat, just remember it. Oh. Wait, wait. I forgot to put out my table chat. There it is. We got Isabel. We got Izzy drinking Izzy. I had an Izzy for the first time. It was pretty good. And I had tea for the first time in a long fucking time. Um, oh yeah, uh, so this is a fun story. Uh, Lucy hates tea, and like that's a giant red flag. I know, chat. But I was determined. I was like, I can fix her. I can fix her. Um, so we picked up vinyl, who taught me the ways of the tea. And Tark, do you want to put someone else up? I, I always put up uh, me. I do this. Bree, gotcha. We're gonna have the three roomies together. Um, so we picked up vinyl, uh, who is very good with tea, and I was convinced, I was positive. That with the with with the power of of him and me giving Lucy the tea is actually pretty fucking good. So we did just that. I made sure to bring my tea. I brought all my tea in my car. I brought my kettle. I brought my mugs. We sat her down. All of us drank tea together, and we did it. Lucy likes tea to some extent. She's still she's still picky. She still needs like five teaspoons of sugar um 
and she still won't finish drinking it, but she no longer hates it. So, baby steps. Baby steps. And you make her more, but you should. You should come back. You should come by again. Um, we made tea recently, but she never like finishes drinking it. She'll just drink like half of her cup. Did you need the giga spoon of tea too? Not really. Um, I need like three teaspoons for some things, but usually just two. Which I don't think is too bad. I know Sofiso likes to have a lot of sugar. You get her baby cup. I even I even recently used a small mug, like one of the smaller mugs that I have, the Dixie Kong mug, and she still wouldn't finish drinking it. So, it's very boring. Give me the cat. I didn't give her white berry though. We have white berry. We we gave her um, vanilla macaroon. Because when we laid out all the tea options, that's the one that she picked out. And I figured she would probably like that one. Because um, it's it's very good. It's very strong flavor. Give it to her in a sippy cup. She does have sippy cups. So maybe. I don't know how well a sippy cup can handle tea, but think about it um so after driving for like vinyl how many hours did we drive uh, to mississippi like six there was nothing but fucking trees vinyl literally lives in the middle of nowhere there's just trees trees so many fucking trees you really can't believe it um, so when I saw street lights again, instead of just the pitch black of night, I was ecstatic. I was like, oh my god, civilization, look at it, it's beautiful. Um, so we went to, uh, from Mississippi to, to Nashville, Tennessee, right? That's the right city in the right state. Um, I say that because it's very important that I mention that we got um, Nashville hot chicken. And by hot chicken, I meant I got mild. Um, but vinyl and Zeke, uh, vinyl or Zeke got medium and vinyl got the the hottest one there was. I don't remember what they called it, but vinyl got the hottest one. And... <laughs> I think that permanently fucked up his taste buds, I swear. He was like bright red, sweating, coughing. It was, uh, I don't know how he lived that. I'm a lucky man that I lived to tell a tale, right? Um, it was, it was hot. Uh, vinyl, how hot would you say it, it was? From like a scale from one to ten. I think he said that was like the second hottest thing he's ever had. Man, I'm sad I missed out on trying it. It's good. Uh, Nashville chicken is apparently famous, um, and for good reason. That was um, probably like the second best, or maybe the best chicken I've ever had. Chicken tendies. Um, Hattie Bees. That's what that place was called. It says it right there in the cup. Quayo. Can I have you join the homies? There we go. Second hottest thing I've ever eaten? Yeah, like a solid 9 out of 10. Dude, you died a bit? Wait, what do you mean? Um, yeah, I recommend going here, by the way. There was another chicken place that we could have went to, like, um... Vinyl and Zeke looked up places to eat like ahead of time throughout this road trip and when we, we planned everything out. Um, it was this or one other place that we could have went to. Um, but Hattie B's was very good. The gang's only here, Gardevoir. Gardevoir, the waifu Pokemon. Only website the hottest level to defeat is called Hail Mary. That doesn't sound familiar, but I believe you. Um, very good though. Would recommend. Fries were fantastic. Um, egg and cheese was decent. I don't really remember. If I don't remember, that means it was probably just decent. 
Um, but the fries and the chicken were good. The sauce was good. Good shit. And I guess if you really want hot chicken, you should go there. Oh, look at that close up. Yeah. Ooh, look at that mac and cheese. Um, from morning, uh, we went to a breakfast place. I don't remember the name of it, but we had this French toast, and then uh, with some hot, with some with some chocolate milk. Yeah, look at that. We drank that shit. Strawberry and some sauce, some some syrup. I mean, it's good, good shit. Um, I gained a lot of weight during this road trip. If you can, if you can believe it. Um, yeah, lots, lots of food pictures. We went up to, uh, Kentucky, um, and along the way we met up with Cryo, we went to Gustavo's, uh, we had some burritos, it was good shit. There's me! I have a picture of us together, uh, it's not in order, uh, right here, yeah! Me, Zeke, and Cryo. We had uh, we had vinyl take the picture. You know, picture of vinyl. I'm sorry, chat. Um, so we met up with Cryo. We hung out in town. We went to some, to a couple of game stores. Shot the shit. It was real cool meeting Cryo for the first time, IRL. So that was fun. Took us five minutes to figure this out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It worked though. It worked out. It looks pretty good. All right, my first VTuber meetup. Um, oh yeah, these are the games I bought. Freaking, I went to the game store. Freaking score, chat. Freaking score. So I have a Super Nintendo and NES. Um, uh, I have an NES thanks to Zeke. Um, because my old NES was technically not mine. It was my family's and they sold it forever ago. So Z got me an NES for one Christmas to complete the collection. And I don't have any NES games, and I somehow lost all of my Super Nintendo games. Very, very sad. But we got... Uh, my favorite games were on there. Like, they had a... Uh, like, I don't want to say a bunch. They probably had like 30 or so Super Nintendo games. And... They were mostly like random like shit no one cares about. There was no like Mario, there was no Star Fox, but they had the entire Donkey Kong Country trilogy. And I bought that shit. So I now my 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 SNES and NES collection is growing. Um, and then I got literally the best Nintendo game. Like by far the best NES game. Super Mario Brothers 3. So that was that was a successful trip. Um but yeah. Joseph, Kevin, how's it going? Aaron, thank you for the nine months! We have a, we have a Twitch baby. We have a sub baby. What's the name, Aaron? I, you, you have the honors of naming our child. He spent two hours in the store with 800 square feet. <laughs> were we in there for that long? We were there for a while talking, like, just, just chatting. It was, it was a lot of fun. A lot of good stuff in there. Oh my god, I can't scroll up chat. Oh, there we go. Should have bought Madden 97. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Or maybe on Phasma later? Maybe. I'll see how I'll see how the stream plays out and how my internet plays out. Thankfully, stream has been pretty good. Um, the problem, the problem with my setup chat um, is we have it was a struggle. Um, there's basically one internet provider option, and it's the good old CenturyLink. And by good, I mean bad. CenturyLink is bad. Um, we originally thought it was going to be fine, because <clears throat> they offered 100, and we're like, oh, okay, cool. Then we called them, they're like, actually, it's 80, and we're like, oh, okay, 80 megabits is not great, but we'll be fine. And then when they installed it, it was actually 40 megabits per second. And then uh, when I do speed tests, I normally get like 30 megabits per second. So our internet's pretty, pretty shit. Um, so like me, Lucy, and Bree can't stream at the same time. Um, we're hoping to fix that, but we looked at other options. In the mail, in the fucking mail, I got Mediacom 
And they were like, oh man, gigabit internet. I'm like, oh, that sounds pretty fucking good, right? I checked the website. I was able to sign up for for gigabit internet. I'm like, hell yeah, dude, that sounds great. I'd love to have fiber. Um, they come to our apartment complex and they're like, hey, uh, we don't actually offer internet here in this apartment complex. And I'm like, what? What the fuck? Like, how did that? You sent us mail. We were able to set it up online, and apparently they don't actually offer internet service here. Um, it's kind of funny. We still get uh, offers from MediaCom telling us to switch the internet there, but we, we literally can't. Um, apparently, when the guy was there, he was like, "Yeah, we don't have any cables that connect to your apartment complex, but we do have me fiber that connects in your area, so you could try calling them." And I tried calling them, and I'm like, "Okay, let's see what they have." And like, yeah, so they were like. So we offer internet in like the, the two apartment complexes like around you, um, but not yours. No, we we can't we can't do that. We've actually even called your apartment complex to set it up, but uh, no. And so we called our apartment complex. We're like, hey, what can we do about this internet situation, right? They said, uh, yeah, we have a deal with CenturyLink, um, so they are the only service provider we have. So we just have a monopoly in our apartment complex with CenturyLink with a shitty DSL internet. Not even cable. DSL. Yeah, it's pretty bad. That yeah, that's a big yikes. Zeke said during D and D that he was getting better speed on his hotspot than you do. I believe it. I f I, I fucking believe it. Yeah, we're stuck with CenturyLink. <sighs> this is a big oof. We, um, a according to the office, when we, when we called the front office, they said that they're looking at better internet. They're like, yeah, we get complaints all the time about the internet. Um, so we're, we're just going to try to set up, like, trying to get other internet service providers in our apartment. And I'm like, yeah, no, no shit. Wait, hold on. Yes? No. Yeah. Okay. Um, that was pretty... Uh, somebody mentioned you had an alternative, but sounds like it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, so we we have an alternative option that we can kind of do. We're looking into like, literally just getting a Wi-Fi hotspot through through Verizon. I think that's the I think that's the ISP Lucy has on her phone, uh, because her her hotspot is better than uh, the internet provided here. So we are thinking maybe we get like a hotspot through Verizon as like a secondary thing and have both. Um, I, I don't know how well that's going to play out, but I guess I don't know if, if we'll actually do it or not. But I'm happy the internet's doing fine right now, at least. DSL, this sucking life. Yeah. Um, hopefully we get better internet options later. Uh, they said by the end of the year that they're going to have uh, more options for us. Uh, fingers crossed that they do. I mean, that's good, but the fact that Hotspike is a bit of service and in-house version, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a big yikes. It was... Oh, I don't remember. I want to say it was like 200 down um, through Verizon's like, hotspot. So when Lucy does a speed test on her phone. So, yeah, it's, be it's better than being hardwired. You can believe it. Um, so that was fun. Anyways, uh, the road trip, um, this burrito was pretty good, chat. Burrito was pretty good. Uh, we then, we, uh, we traveled to St. Louis that evening. Um, I don't have pictures of driving through St. Louis, but, uh, we, we hung out with, with Kyle for too long. It took us a while to get to St. Louis. We got there pretty late at night. I believe that anything is better than CenturyLink. Yeah, yeah. Even even in Florida, when I had the option, uh, they were not the number one option when we went there. Um, I had St. Louis uh, pizza for the first time. There's some garlic bread. Garlic bread was pretty decent. Um, and I have to say, St. Louis pizza, absolutely fucking mid. Mid as fuck. <laughs> not bad, but. 
It reminded me of, of microwave pizza. So, take that as you will. I was pretty disappointed. Um, there's, there's the Ark. The Ark of the Covenant. Say that about every pizza that isn't our pizza? It's true. It's because it's true. Hold on, I have pretty good pizza. Trying to... Trying to think of good pizza that's not New York pizza. Hold on. Yeah, never mind. I can't think of any pizza that's that's as nearly as good as New York pizza. Um. Oh yeah, we we finally got to route sixty six. Um. And we hit up an ice cream place, which was pretty neat. Um, I forget the name of the place. Yeah, here we go. Ted Drew's Frozen Custard. This is while we were at uh, St. Louis. Um, pretty good ice cream. I had like a brownie something. I don't remember the name of it. Did I get chocolate mint? Fuck no. Fuck no. <laughs> I got, a, I got like a chocolate brownie mix. I had like vanilla concrete and brownie and something else. Uh, and that was, this was good shit. This was good shit. <sighs> Water is good. Chat looking at this is making me very hungry. Very, very hungry. Um, cows! Cows! Moo! Moo! And then that's pretty much it. That's a road trip. Food pigs tend to do that. Very true. <laughs> moo! <laughs> Thanks for the moo emotes. The moo! Emotes move. Bum bum. Uh, this is snow. This is Lucy's cat. So, um, by inheritance, I now have. Actually, I don't think that's the right word. But I now have two cats. Essentially, there's snow, and there's snow in Zach. Snow's a little bitch. He's always causing trouble. Uh, Zach also causes trouble, but not nearly as much. Um, Zack is very cute. I like Zack. Uh, you, you guys, if you can, you can guess which one's Snow and which one's Zack. <laughs> can can you take a guess which one is which one's Snow? Snow is a fucking asshole. See, thanks, Bree. See, Bree knows. <laughs> How's it going, Bree? The brown cat is Snow. You know, it may surprise you, but actually Snow's the one on the left. Yeah. I know, shocker, right? Um. God. So, like, there are certain rooms that Snow's not allowed into. Well, neither the cats are allowed into. Um, like, my office. Bree's room. Um. Yo! Woosie! We'll Thank you for the 14 months! Whoa, 14? No, right? How's it going, Wussy? Are you showing my cats? I am! I'm talking about how they're little fucking uh, rascals. Yeah, that's the word I like to describe them. Rascals is the word. It's the perfect word for them. <laughs> don't eat the brown snow. Yeah, don't eat the brown snow or the yellow snow. Um. But yeah, there's certain rooms that they are not allowed into. And uh, if if you enter it and snow is nearby, he'll immediately go in there. He knows, he knows he's not supposed to be in there. But he'll immediately do it anyways, and it pisses me off every single time. Fuck it. Bitch. Also, never leave your food out in our apartment. Uh, they will eat it. Um, mostly Zach. That's mostly a Zach thing. Uh, not a problem for me, because I always put my food away or put it in the garbage. Um, let more of a problem for, for, for not me. 
damn dogs. Yeah, they freaking act like dogs. They, they, uh, <laughs> they meow at doors instead of barking, but it's like the same thing. They will get food. If you have food in the garbage and you take the garbage bag out, they will take, tear out the garbage to try to eat the food. Um, shit, what are other dog things they do? They do a lot of dog-like things. I can't remember at, at, at all right now. We left the pizza box and dug into it. Yep, yep, that happened recently. Just a few days ago. I can't believe anything you give her. I have fed her hot fries before. These cats won't eat everything. Um, they particularly like meat, but they won't like, uh, like bread, for example, I think. They went links out of the toilet. Yep, that's one thing. They like out of the toilet. Another very dog thing they do. God, I'm trying to think of other dog characteristics. It is wild, though. They were more dog-like than my old dog was. They meowed on my door all damn night last night. Why was that? Were they were they meowing your door? Or maybe the office door. It was snow, though. Cause Zach was with with Lucy. Snow was outside the office when I left at night last night. I don't know why he was there and not not with Lucy. Dogs born as cats. These cats are weird. These little rascals. Um, yeah. When was the last picture? Uh, there's the four of us. This is not a great quality picture. I downloaded it from Discord. Um. But yeah. There's the, there's the four of us. I met Bree for the first time when I moved here. And Zeke met... Yeah, also Bree for the first time. He had already met Lucy at one point. Um, but yeah, so that was my trip. Um, I, I'm trying to think of anything else that occurred. We we still haven't finished setting up. It's been a pain in the ass. Um, but my office is like 80% complete. I got to set up like my VR and put like one more box away. And then I got to put up my my picture frames, which I don't know where they're going to go quite yet. Um, the the living room is basically done. Um, we just got to clear some boxes and then uh, Lucy and I's bedroom needs to be finished up because we have one more bookshelf to make. Um, but we're almost finally settled in. It took it took a month, but we're, we're almost settled in. I'll definitely take pictures once everything is done. Um, I currently bought a couple of things that'll make it better. Victory! Yeah, it's been stressful. Um, yeah. Oh yeah! Uh, th there's one thing I forgot to mention. Um, so part of the reason I didn't stream for the month was not just because I moved across state, because I uh, was still getting settled in. The other reason is um i mentioned earlier i brought my pc with me in my car drove it across <sighs> across country every time we stayed in a hotel we brought that big ass box with my shit in it and brought it up to the hotel and brought it back out um after being at the apartment for about like a week i'm like oh finally get to I get to use my computer. I set up this desk. I use Lucy's brother's old desk. Set up my computer. Um, plugged it into my 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 surge protector. I got everything set up. I flipped the switch, hit the power button, and then the entire room went dark. And I was like, "Uh oh, that's that's not good." Um. So we checked the breaker, which coincidentally is in the office for some reason. I don't know why it's there. Um, and we found out that the breaker for the room, uh, the switch for it, wasn't all the way to the right, like on. It was like in the middle. So we turned it off and turned it on and the power went back. Um, and so like lights went on, my computer monitor could turn on, my PC did not turn on that really sucked 
Um, thanks to the help of Vinyl and I was on a phone call with Vinyl, Zeke, Sophistos, and Kevin. And um, we helped diagnose the issue. We're like, okay, it's probably the power supply. So um, to test it, we took out my power supply, which if you don't know, chat is a pain in the ass because the power supply connects to, you know, your motherboard, your, your uh, GPU, CPU and your hard drives. Um, so taking that out is like also taking out all the cables that go with it. And thankfully, thankfully and coincidentally, um, I had my old PC parts with me that I took with me in the car because I was selling uh, my old PC parts as well. Um, coincidentally, I had my old power supply with me. Thank God it wasn't in the U box. Um, and we used it to plug it into my PC. And we plugged in like the motherboard uh, in the CPU and I think the hard drive too while we're at it. And we turned on my computer and it worked. It worked. Thank God. So we knew therefore it was the power supply. So um, we, we uh, packed up the power supply, sent it back to the um the manufacturer which was thermal take i think is the name of the brand i have um and we did an rma and that took basically over two weeks to get everything i think it was technically three weeks for me to ship it to them them to get it process it and ship it back So, yeah, I didn't have a computer for for that entire time. Um, I, so you're probably asking, Cal, if you had your old power supply, why didn't you use that? Well, see, the reason I have an old power supply is because it only supports 650 watts. And um, since I got that power supply, which is when I first made my computer i've upgraded my cpu my motherboard my gpu so the wattage i have on my current one is 800 um so yeah it was it wasn't enough juice that's a good way to put it um so yeah yeah i had i had no computer for for a very very long time it's the longest i've been without a computer and i don't even remember how long um, probably ever, actually. So, that's why I couldn't stream. Um, so yeah, moving pain. Sounds like a living hell it was. I use my phone more than I ever have. Um, good news is I use my PS5 a lot. Uh, I bought Armored Core and I beat it in that time. So, there's that. I didn't get to stream it at all, unfortunately, but... But yeah, no computer, which meant no, like... can really watch Twitch streams too much. Because watching it, watching Twitch on the phone is a pain in the ass. Um, no, no games, no Faz, or anything like that. No Mortal Kombat, which I've been dying to play, no streams. No, no productivity whatsoever. I really wanted to start drawing when I first got here and start like getting back into the habit of drawing. I want to start drawing, I want to start doing commissions and I didn't get to do that. So, I've had a computer for years if you don't count the Steam Deck. Oh, shit, really, I don't, I've been living like with a computer with me at all times for, a very long time. Let's, let's put it like that. <laughs> for most of my life. So I cannot imagine having a computer for years. Um, but yeah. Um, that's basically the full story. Woosie! Woosie!
Okay. I just say hi to Woosie. Woosie just got back from work. Um, but yeah. That's the story. Steam Deck has a desktop mode, but it's Linux. Oof. I know you can, can install Windows on that thing. Right? I can't live without a computer. Yeah, you know, I thought I couldn't either, but... <sighs> Somehow I managed. That was... That was awful. Um... yeah i think that's that's about it i'm trying to think of anything else that happened oh yeah I, I mentioned we went to a con um lucy took some pictures i don't have any with me of like um some of the merch we got but a highlight was was meeting some of the celebrities there uh all of ruby was there um so we had you had the voice actress for for Ruby, Blake, Yang, and Weiss. Uh, I'm trying to see if I remember all their names. Lindsay Jones, Barbara Duncan, uh, Aaron, and uh, I don't remember Weiss um, or Weiss. Uh, yeah, I got to see Lindsay again. Um, she's she's so fucking cool uh the voice actress for ruby she's she's so fucking cool um we met her once before uh in orlando um years ago uh and then i saw her again barbara dunkelman thank you thank you uh all the voice actors are really really fucking cool people they're very down to earth um uh, i mentioned to Lindsay. Uh, she was like, oh, yeah, nice to meet you. And I was like, well, technically we met once before. I wouldn't expect you to remember, obviously, um, in a con in Florida. And she's like, oh, which one was it? And I was like, oh, yeah, that was it was Megacon. And she's like, oh, Megacon. That was like in the before times is how she put it. Um, but yeah, uh, Lindsay was really cool. Uh, I got to talk to Barbara and, and all of them. It was dead. The con, the con here was really, really dead. Um, so the, the positive side of that was we got to talk to, uh, talk to the celebrities, like kind of as much as we wanted. Um, I got them all to sign my Ruby poster, which was expensive, but it was totally worth it. Um, I have a really cool Ruby print. Um, and now I have all four of them, uh, all four of the signatures, which is really, really cool. Um, we got to meet who else was there. Uh, the voice actor for Blitz was there um it was fun talking to him oh Lindsay was fantastic to meet way back when she's she's like the same um also she lost a lot of weight so good for her um she's super fucking cool uh barbara was nice to talk to um we we went to the panels we, there was a q a panel with ruby uh and i asked a question there so that was that was fun um, we met the voice actor for Blitzo from Hell of a Boss. He was really cool. He looked exactly how I pictured him. Which is kind of funny. Um, uh, Lucy it was a big fan, so she got a poster signed with Blitzo, with Blitzo on it. Uh, he wrote, See you in hell. <laughs> which is pretty good. Um, I wanted to meet Michael almost just to gush about meeting his partner. <laughs> I don't think he ever goes to stuff like that, does he? Besides, like, maybe RTX? I would love to meet Michael. If I had a poster of of, of Sun from, from Ruby, that'd be cool. We get him to sign it. Um, who else did we meet? Uh, we met the voice actress for uh, Balma slash Froppy slash... Fucking... I don't... He, she does a lot of voices. Um... Oh, the, the Jesus chick from, from Ghost Stories. That's a fun story. Um, I was talking to her. She was super friendly. And I was like, yeah, like, so I watched My Hero subbed. Um, and Froppy's my favorite. And then when I watched a little bit of the dub, I was like, wow, your voice sounds exactly the same as the Japanese voice for Froppy. It's, it's incredible. Um, and she did, like, a little Froppy impression. And she was saying how... Um, 
she often gets cast for roles that the voice actress for Froppy, like when the voice actress for Froppy uh, in Japanese does other voices, they often cast her um, to do uh, similar roles. And apparently they say that she just kind of has a similar sounding voice, basically. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then I saw on the side, I got her to sign a Froppy print. Um, it was really, really cute. And I was, I saw on the side, you know, it always has like all the roles that the person has done. And it had the roles of, of the character in Ghost Stories. I cannot remember her fucking name. Um, of the, the Jesus girl from Ghost Stories, the very, very religious one. Um, and I was, I was talking to her. I was like, Hey, so I saw that on here you have uh ghost stories can you tell me a little bit about how that happened <laughs> um she got she laughed a little bit and um she was the best character in ghost stories um and she basically said that uh, stuff that kind of you, you could probably find out on your own if you looked it up but basically if you don't know ghost stories um it was basically a show kind of scooby-doo-esque but japanese um, and I did really, really bad in Japan. Did so terrible. So in uh, America, when they dubbed it, they're, the director was basically like, okay, the show did really bad. They don't really care what we do with it. Here are the key plot points that we need to hit. Um, go nuts. Um, and so basically the voice actors and actresses had like ideas of what they can write for the character and the director had some ideas and they go back and forth. And yeah, it's a very, very silly show. If you don't, if you've never seen Ghost Stories, you should at least go to YouTube and like search Ghost Stories compilation. It's fucking hilarious. Um, they uh, they dubbed the show and uh, let's say it's not very accurate to what actually happens. And they say a lot of things, a lot of things that probably get you canceled in the year of 2023. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I mentioned like how she was my favorite character, the voice, the character that she voiced, but I was sad that there was no prints. And she's like, oh, actually there is some prints um, of her. And so she actually got, for free, she actually got like a little picture of her and signed it for me for free, which was really, really nice of her. Um, and we took a photo with her. She was super, super sweet. Um, her natural speaking voice is very similar to Bulma, which is the character she voices. Um, she was cool. She was very, very cool. Never seen ghost stories? You should. You should, Koi. Highly recommend it. It's so funny. That's more where the English dub was like bonkers crazy. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can find like some clips real quick. So, so chat can see what I'm talking about. It's so fucking funny. Um, sure. Let's go with this one. We'll just click the first link on here. You're such brave, strong, handsome men. Have you accepted Jesus as your personal savior? No, I'm Jewish. I just want to make sure that you're saved. Hey, hearty boy. Yeah, so the purple hill girl is the girl that she voiced. Out of here. We can't leave Kyle still. I don't care about your cat. He's probably dead. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up and get inside. Say Hanako, the bathroom ghost lives here. In the name of Jesus. What are you doing? Will you stop that? I'm casting her out. I can't believe Come on, this, this is... Oh, yeah, it's the same video you're watching. Hold on. I need to find a really good clip. Um... <laughs> okay, this is... All right, this is a good one. <laughs> That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Pump, pump, pump. <laughs> Think of a big black man chasing you. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not racist. I guess not. He's only 0 0.2 seconds faster. <sighs> <sighs> Failure's not an option. <laughs> Come on, Petro, remember Carl Lewis! <laughs> on your mark, get set, go! <laughs> I said go! 
God's holy word is like water to a dehydrated soul. Yeah. And then spooky stuff happens. Uh, yeah, that's that's an example of a of a line that would probably cancel get you canceled the year twenty twenty three. Um, <laughs> I don't remember this, but I like the title of this video. Hey, where'd Ketro go? And Momoko's gone too. You just know she's witnessing to him. God damn it! They were tempted by Ketro! fruit, and they knew they were Ketro, sinful and naked without Jesus. Hell. <laughs> Hello, sinner. God, can you go bomb an abortion clinic or something? You just wait. When that wonderful president finishes stacking the Supreme Court, we won't have to. Don't forget what I told you about premarital sex. <laughs> Abstinence only God. <laughs> okay, that's extra funny now. <laughs> 20 years later. <laughs> <laughs> what was he saying at the end? Abstinence only, got it. Abstinence only. Oh man, that's fucking hilarious. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this show, the show, Ghost Stories is fucking great. Um, so yeah, I meant the voice actress for the Purple Hill Girl, the, the very religious one. Um, she was saying, uh, she, she wrote on, on, uh, the, the print that she signed, Jesus loves you. And she was saying how every time, um, she'll, she'll sign, she'll sign like that print and say that on there. And parents, uh, very unassuming were like, oh, that's so sweet of you to say. And the back of her mind, she's like, oh, if only you knew. <laughs> um... Chris Abbott, uh, I think, voiced someone in that show, and uh, she mentioned how um, there was a Bible in the studio, and uh, she would read it for inspiration, basically. And Chris Abbott would like walk past her, and she'd be reading the Bible, and he'd be like, he'd look at her and look at the Bible, and he'll take a step back, and he's like, "I'm gonna leave before lightning strikes." <laughs> um. So yeah, that was that was very fun fun beating her. She was very very cool. Um, so those were some of the highlights of the con. The con we went to stand um, was Galaxy Kong. That was the name of it. It was Galaxy Kong. Um, it was very empty, so we got to talk to like the celebrities as much as we wanted, which is really nice. Um, I bought. I spent way too much money. Bought lots of cool prints, uh, knickknacks. Um, I was basically Lucy Sugar Daddy. Uh, I bought some figures. I should probably take pictures of all the merch I got, but eventually I'll take a picture of my room once it's all set up and you'll see all the merch there anyways. Um, so that was fun. That was a fun weekend. Uh, we got in for free thanks to Zeke, because Zeke uh, often works in booths that travel around and go to cons. So he got us in for free. In exchange, we helped him close down uh, his booth on on like the final day which took a lot of hours Jesus Christ is a pain in the ass um, but yeah fun weekend went with Lucy and Bree um, yeah cons are fun chat I hadn't been to a con since before uh, COVID basically I think 2019 was the last time I went to one so it was really nice going uh, to them. So can we go to another one sometime soon? Hopefully I can save up money so I can buy stuff, uh, buy more stuff anyways. <sighs> but all right, I think that's basically everything that, uh, that, that's, that's been happening with me this past month. <sighs> so it's nice to be back though nice to be back from streaming um i'm not sure how often i'll be streaming i want i want to stream three times a week probably not much more than that i've been uh i've been actually working doing doordash which 
Uh, pay, pays decently well if you hit the right hours. Um, but I want to stream like three times a week. It's going to be hard, at least for the next couple of months, for the three of us to stream because of our shitty internet. But hopefully we can we can um, get new internet providers and we can we can stream more often. Um, I don't have a set schedule yet, but at least for now, Wednesday is going to be my day. I'll be streaming every Wednesday for a while. Uh, the three of us were talking uh, who wants to stream what day. So we're kind of planning ahead. But I'll probably be doing Mondays and Wednesdays, Thursdays, what it looks like. I don't know, 100% sure on that, but yeah. Uh, anywho, um, I've been dying to play this game that came out uh, while I was um, while I was gone, called Whisker Squadron. Um, I just happened to pop on my Twitter feed. Hang on. <laughs> 